All right, this video is made so that you can know what's expected in the RV pack and what's been required in installation. First thing on the box is the documentation. We have a promotional sticker. You can apply this to a window in the RV. We have the Life Ranger Sky DOE version. It's 30 feet of outdoor rated Cat5 Ethernet cable. And then we have the go to. So here you can see we have our indoor product. It's going to penetrate with a Wi Fi signal through the entire RV, so it's not an issue to uh, tuck it away in a cabinet where it will be hidden and unobtrusive. We have the outdoor product, the Wi Fi Ranger Sky. The Wi Fi Ranger Sky is to be mounted on a flat surface on the roof. You create a 5 8 inch hole for the Cat5 to be run through. Do not uh, cut off this end. Just snake that through the roof and to where the go to will be located in a cabinet or other location. Once you have snaked the cable through, you can then mount the sky using your desired adhesive. We recommend using a high grade adhesive that is made for the materials of the RV's roof. Once that is flat mounted and sealed on the roof, you can uh, install the go to within the cabinet. There's nothing special about that, but keep in mind that the customer is going to want access to the LAN ports, to the power port, and to the USB. So it can be mounted flat on the wall um, in order that all these things are accessible. So once you have your Sky installed on the roof with its Cat5 Ethernet cable run down to the cabinet or other location of the GoTo, then you're going to need to power the GoTo. But first, always plug in the Sky before powering the Go. These two units are individual routers and they require a feature called WFR control to be synced. So prior to powering, you want to plug in the Cat5 cable in order that that synchronization stays. Once that's plugged in to the fifth LAN port, which is also labeled yellow, you need to power the go to. This cable here to the sky provides both power and interconnectivity for both units. So the only device that actually needs a active power connection um, is the go to. We provide a 110 volt AC power supply which can be plugged in simply to its power port and then an AC outlet. Or we provide a recommended method, which is a 12 volt inline fused wire. This wire is four feet long and it can be connected directly to the RV's battery system. This provides the customer with uh, power regardless of whether they have an AC inverter turned on or uh, if they're plugged into the RV Park's uh, AC power system. So it's nice in order that they can use the Wi-Fi Rangers regardless of being hooked up to AC power. Uh, there's no need for a, a power switch to be installed on the RV for this system. Um, the customer can simply power on and off by unplugging and plugging back in the barrel jack. Once both units are installed and interconnected with the Cat5 cable, power up the Go, and you will notice its distinct chirping sound, which is a normal part of its post. Once it posts, it'll take about one minute to boot up. Notice the red LED on port 5. That is a normal thing. Uh, that indicates that there is active power going out through this port.
as always, we recommend that you track the ID numbers found on the Wi-Fi Ranger Go, the Wi-Fi Ranger Sky, 